Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen and in this video I'm going to go over my five, my top five bromances in fiction. When you know I'm bad at Last night one of our cats woke me up like five or six times through the night. It's great. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. But it is a stitch kind of day. It's, it's a very large mug. Like, I can't even fit my hand around it. I have another mug that I usually drink my coffee from, but that's what I say. When I'm really tired, it's a stitch kind of day. I need that extra caffeine fix, extra, yeah, extra little oomph. So. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing below. It's a completely free way for you to help support a small booktuber like myself. On to the video. So bromance for me is two male characters who would die for each other. They love each other like brothers and it's completely platonic. There's no romantic entanglements. Romance to me is any kind of romantic love, regardless of the gender, it's, um, okay, easy way. Romance, I love you. Romance, I'm in love with you. That's how I distinguish between the two. So, so for bromance, we're going to start with the characters that started it all for me, that got me addicted to bromance. And that is Frank and Joe Hardy of the Hardy Boys. This book here is one of the newer, it was, it was a newer series when I was a kid. And I related to it more. And so this here, these ones here, the hardcover Hardy Boys books were still great stories, but they kind of, the language was different. It was like, instead of, hey guys, it was, hey fellows. Like, it, it, it just, it didn't mesh with the way I talk. So, although I did love these books, the ones, the ones I really connected with were the New Case Files. This one in particular was a great example of bromance because, um, I mean, it happens in the first chapter, but I still don't want to give a spoiler. So, someone very important to Joe dies in this book. The very first chapter or two chapters. Frank spends the rest of the book and even books later on in the series because it takes Joe a while to get past this this loss. Frank really steps up to the plate and helps his little brother. At one point Joe tries to run into a fire to save this person that he loves so much but Frank knows it's too late and he tackles him. He argues with him, he tries to talk sense into him, and then in the end he has to knock him out to drag him out of the fire to save his little brother's life. And to me, that was just so... it stuck with me. It was such a memorable scene that I... yeah, I... oh. I... I... this is... this book here, I'm confident, is the reason I became addicted to bromance. The second bromance on my list is Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. And although they were introduced to me in movies, Star Wars A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Luke and Han were just, they were the whole reason I loved those movies. And not the whole reason, but you know what I mean. Luke and Han were my favorite relationship in those movies. and. Truce of Bakura takes place immediately following the events of Return of the Jedi and it, I haven't read it since I bought it because it's such a, I, I have such wonderful memories of this book but I haven't read it again since because I've been working so much but um, from what I remember it starts out with Han and Luke being at odds with each other because Luke is acting strange and 
Han's way of dealing with it is like basically suck it up, Buttercup. It, he's Han, you know. He's 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 not like a touchy feely type unless it's with Leia. If Leia's in pain, then yeah, he's gonna be right there. But with Luke, he doesn't know how to act. He doesn't know how to react to Luke's to the trauma Luke is going through in this book. Um, I don't want to give away the ending. Yeah, uh, the, the bromance in this is really good, is stellar, no pun intended. The next bromance is Christopher Snow and Billie Holloway. Now, that bromance was introduced in Fear Nothing, but I found it stronger, and it was awesome in Fear Nothing, don't get me wrong, uh, but I found it to be stronger, there was more emphasis on that relationship in the second book of that duology and that is Seize the Night by Dean Koontz. This book goes deeper into how far Chris and Bobby are willing to go to save each other. Yeah, it, it shows the fact that they're willing to die for each other in many different instances. It's not their style to be like, I love you bro, I love you bro, blah blah blah. They, they show it instead of saying it. And through most of the book, majority of the scenes, they show it with dry wit. Bobby is constantly telling Chris to back off from what what he's investigating and calling him Nancy Drew and all these things and Chris is constantly telling Bobby, you know what, you need to step out of your comfort zone and but at the same time they're not saying it on the nose, they're not saying it, they're saying it in subtext but it's really an awesome bromance. The next bromance on my list is Jay and Kent from Turtles in the Road by Rhonda Ray and Kaylee Ray. This book, this is the rom-com that I mentioned and it's so, it's so good. Guys, I cannot recommend this book enough. It is a Christian rom-com but it's not preachy, hit you over the head with the message but it's the characters are Christian and yeah, there is a Christian message, but it's not preachy. And it's just, it's just so fun to read. Um, the characters are funny and the, it, it shows that being Christian does not mean that you're perfect. You make mistakes. You make bad choices. It's, it's life. But yeah, this book, highly recommend this book. Highly, highly recommend this book. And Jay and Kent are like polar opposites in a way that you're like <laughs> Jay is the is the uh, reserved, um, not all business, but you know there's a time and place for fun and games, and there's a time and place for business. And Jay has a very distinct line between those times and places. Kent does not. Kent is all about fun and games and living every moment to the fullest and he just, he adds such, such a comedic factor to, to the story that there are other characters in this book that add comedic elements, of course, but for the bromance side of things, Kent is I love Kent. I love Jay. Jay is the one that I would want to date. Kent is the one that I would just want to hang out with all the time and just let him put me into stitches. Like he's, he's, yeah. Anyway, so bromance number, one, two, three. So bromance number four, Jay and Kent from Turtles on the Road. The final bromance, number five, is Ronnie and Ryan in Ryan Ackard and the Brotherhood of Blades. And I can't tell you how many times I said that r title wrong for like I'd say uh, Ronnie Ackard, the Brotherhood of Blades. Said it wrong so many times in so many other videos because I have recommended this book in other videos. And I'm holding it up like this and saying it wrong and the title is right there. How? How do I? Okay, 
So Ronnie Ackert and the Brotherhood of Blades is, oh, I should hold that up there longer, is the fifth bromance on my list. It's the most recent one I've discovered. And uh, it was, I read this during the summer that the pandemic first hit. So how long ago was that? I can't even remember. I guess that was last summer. I read this last summer as an ebook and had to buy the physical book because I loved the story so much. But Ronnie is, um, he's like 14 or 15 I think and he's just, he's rediscovering himself and he's still falling back into old habits from when he was on his own on the streets of New York and you know only out for number one and now he's with this found family and Ryan is sort of like the father figure although he's only in I think his early 20s mid 20s but the dynamic between those two is is really fun Ronnie pushes Ryan's buttons Sometimes not meaning to, other times completely on purpose. I think he, he's like testing his boundaries with Ryan. He keeps expecting Ryan to give up on him, walk away like everyone else in his life has done. Ryan kind of sets a foundation for Ronnie each time he doesn't walk away and give up on him. But it takes a while for that foundation to completely form. And I don't even think it's completely formed by the end of the book. I haven't read the other books in the series yet. Um, but... I, I do plan to and I'm sure there will still be friction between Ronnie and Ryan. There's other characters in this book that are adorable, but Ronnie, I mean this one focused on Ronnie. So obviously I'm going to get to know Ronnie better in this particular book, but I just loved the bromance between him and Ryan. Okay, so that's what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing below. Don't forget to click the bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. I try to upload a new booktube video every Wednesday and a new authortube video every Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye-bye. So, for fiction. Okay, no. None of it is non-fiction. Oy. Um, got a cat fur on my book. This is, this book here is one of the new, <laughs> this book here, still cat hair on it, this book here is one of the new, the older books, like these babies here. Although they're awesome stories still. Now I got cat hair on me. Wonderful. That's okay. Um, well, so first they fight, and then Joe has to knock Frank, and then, oh gosh. Runny nose, runny nose. Oh, sorry. I should probably say it's Han and Luke. Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. Okay, so for the second. <laughs> For the second bromance on my list, it's, for the second bromance on my list, the second Star Wars, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, totally almost said Lord of the Rings. And Star Wars, it just, it goes deeper, this book goes deeper into how far Chris and Billy, or Bobby. So the next one is Jay and Kent, the next, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's what, okay, so that, la, 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 la.